This is Camping with Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG Tulsa's News and Talk. Your RV guide for Oklahoma and beyond. Give us a call at 918-460-KRMG or text us at 95920. Now, let's hit the road. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Camping with Wade's RV. This is 1023 KRMG Tulsa's News and Talk. Skyler Cooper, happy to be with you. Willie D with us once again. How are you this afternoon, sir? I am doing great. It is a great day at Wade's RV, and I am actually off the lot right now. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But it's been an exciting week at Wade's RV, and I can't wait to get into a little bit about camping, some airbags, some deals and steals, and a whole lot more. A lot to get caught up on today. If you have any questions for uh, Willie D, let us know. Text us at 95920. You can also find Wade's RV in many different ways. Number one, the location, and then other ways to get a hold of them, ask some questions. Willie D, run us down that list. Okay, so there's lots of ways to get a hold of us. If you can't find us, just uh, just give us a call. Look us up on Facebook. But um, there's lots of different ways. We're on Google. You can always just type in Wade's RV, um, and it'll pull up our Facebook, our Instagram, the YouTube. You can always give us a call at 918-291-1011. If you need to service, um, if you need to service your RV, you can schedule an appointment that way. Or if you want to set an appointment, you can come on out, set an appointment, or video tours. We do all of that different stuff. And you can always check us out on our website, www.wadesrv.com. It's the best website out there where you can value your trade. You can actually completely buy an RV online. It's a revolutionary thing that we came up with at Wade's RV. So I'm really excited that we have that active and going right now. Um, and there's lots of different resources like the blogs and different things of that nature. So if you want to learn RV or if you want to learn more about our deals that we have going on, you can go on there. It's a one-stop shop for everything you need. You know, recently, we've been talking about all of the uh, the big pickup in camping lately because people don't want to yes. get on planes and they don't want to go places. And I keep seeing more and more around town, uh, you know, the big Class A's driving around. You like that? I knew which one I was talking about, the Class A. Yes, you're, you're getting along there. Hey, and I'm taking a Class B down to Austin this week um, right when we get off of the radio show. So which one is that, Skyler? Uh, the class B is like the van hybrid thing, right? No, no, no. That's a C. Um, B, I don't know. <laughs> B is the van. No, you were close. You were close. It's just strictly the van. So it doesn't have any slides or anything like that. It's on a strictly, um, Sprinter chassis, um, no slides. Um, typically it has a bed. That's kind of a couch in the back. Um, if you remember whenever I was camping at the casino, it's very similar to that, but this one's going to have the Mercedes Benz diesel inside of it. So, um, still another lesson to be learned, but, uh, we will get there eventually. <laughs> Skylar, you're doing good. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'll just, I'll just make a study guide from now on. Uh, so I've been seeing a lot of class A's drive around and every time I see one, I think of you and I wonder, I wonder if that's really D because you've literally driven these giant things to the studio to do this show. So I never know. It could be you. An RV is definitely um, my preferred daily driver. Um, I'm in an RV more than I'm in my car, it seems like, and uh, I'm more on the road than I'm at my house, which is a good thing. At Wade's RV, we live the lifestyle. It was really cool. Last weekend, a lot of the guys headed out from the shop, headed out to Colorado and got to go out camping. I tell it all the time. The difference in Wade's RV, aside from just having the best products and the best service, is we are actually campers. So we get out there and we enjoy the lifestyle and we know the lifestyle style and that's very much what we do day to day and for me especially i have the coolest job of them all i get to drive these things all over um actually lunchtime yesterday i went and grabbed a sport chassis and went and picked up a big fifth wheel with a gooseneck so i'm driving rvs just about every single day of the week and that's what i like so uh, i am living the dream very much myself and you can live it too you just got to come out and see us so you guys have something kind of fun going on this weekend. What uh, I'm surprised that there's something like this happening just right now as we continue to uh, kind of get into the reopening thing, but you're at a dog show? Yes. So I am actually live inside um, one of those famous Integros that I always talk about, but I'm actually out at the um, Yorktown Neighborhood Dog Show. So we are involved with lots of different things in the community, and this is one of those neighborhoods that we've actually partnered with. So I'm out here getting to meet lots of these great residents. We're still keeping social distancing, but um, I do have the RV opened up so people can go in there, take a look at it. Um, it's really incredible. For about $600 a month, you can have a brand new Class C, and not only is it just a brand new class C. It's actually one of the top lines. So um, you're going to have every feature. You're going to have every amenity. It's not going to be a stripped down model that you show up and you're like, 
what? What is this? No, this is a fully loaded Class C motorhome, and people are loving this thing. So if you want to take a look at it, get on my website. There's an easy tab. It says Class C. You can click on that, and you can learn just a little bit more about it. If you're unfamiliar with the classes, like what we were talking about earlier, a Class like C is what I describe as um, it almost looks like a U-Haul. Um, hauler where it has that um, cab over the top of the actual truck so if that kind of puts a good picture in your mind that's what we're referring to and they're great units perfect for the family this one actually has bunk beds in it so um, they are just eating it up and uh, maybe we'll get someone to take it home and be able to just drive it right over to their driveway that sounds like a lot of fun i want to uh, kind of remind people of something that we mentioned a couple of times last week but it's important because people are probably asking you guys blowing up your phones and, and curious when they're going to see you but the big old RV show that's normally out at the expo is just not happening this year, right? Yes, that's exactly right. So the big news in the RV world, aside from RVs are just the most popular thing ever, um, but the big news in the Tulsa RV market is there is not going to be the July RV show. So many patrons of RVs and fans of RVs um, throughout Tulsa and all over Oklahoma, it's amazing at these shows how many people come from far and wide to come check out what's new, improved, and just learn about all the cool things that are happening in the RV world. But that show is not happening. But Wade's RV is still going to have a show for you if you do want to come out and see all of the improvements. The great thing about Wade's RV is we have a little bit of it all. We have all of the classes of motorhomes. We also have all of the classes of travel trailers. So if you're looking for any type of travel trailer, any type of motorhome, we're going to have that category um, for you. And so we were called up and we were asked to come to a spring home an outdoor living expo and it's going to be the 19th through 24th and it's going to be at the fairground so it's going to be in that big um river spirit um building right over there and so we're going to have lots of rvs so if you want to see what's new and improved come on out and see us it's going to be a great show and there's lots of other things out there it's not just going to be rvs there's going to be lots of stuff for your home there's going to be lots of stuff for your garden um i'm really excited they have a i think even a jerky stand and i'm a huge fan of beef jerky so there's lots of cool stuff and this is going to be a great show great time to get outside um, and get outside the house but come on out and see all the different rvs that we're having and just like um i was going out to the neighborhood today we have lots of different shows that are going on at that time as well so let's say maybe the garden isn't your thing but you are a car guy that same weekend i'm going to have what i'm going to call the wade's rv vip area we've partnered with riverside ford and they are having a shelby rally and that's going to be at the southern hills marriott and i'm going to have the wade's rv trailer out there i'm going to have the ac going i'm going to have a motorhome out there with two big flags and so if you are a car guy you're going to want to come out there and also, let's say you're just a Ford guy. You'd probably want to go to that one. But Wade's RV is also going to be at another car show. It's going to be the Heroes and Hot Rods car show. And we are really involved in the local community with um, our local heroes, you know, with our first responders and also the medical staff. And so every year we participate in this show, and it's really good to give back. Um, so there's a lot of those guys that come on out there, and it's a big fundraiser. So we're going to have a couple RVs out there. I might even have a sport chassis that you can test drive. And so we are going to be all over the Tulsa area um, on the weekend of the 20th. So you're going to have to come on out um, and hang out with the Wade's RV crew. We're going to be spread all over. And, of course, come on out to the lot. We're going to be open our normal hours. And so you can take advantage if you are um, closer to the dealership than one of these other shows. Feel free to come on out, and we will get you taken care of regardless so lots of exciting things happening on saturday the 20th that's cool that's uh, june 19th 20th and 21st right in the spring home yes. and outdoor living expo so here in a couple of weeks that'll be your first chance to kind of stretch your legs and get out a little bit and uh, practice that social distancing still as they are recommending but a good way to get out and it looks like at least you know through this weekend and hopefully the trend will continue that it's just really nice and <laughs> we finally got through some of the rain and everything that we had late la or earlier last week so a good chance to get out Yes, it's a great chance to get out. This is phenomenal weather. Um, it's just the perfect time. You know, whenever it's winter time, you're usually starting those campfires. Well, it's time to convert the way you're camping. I am not going to be lighting any campfires for a few minutes. Um, but you know what I will be doing? I will be going out to the lake and I will be swimming. I'm going to be enjoying taking the RV out there, getting on some of my friends' boats. It's great. At Wade's RV, a lot of the guys here at the store, they have boats, so I can just jump on with them and uh, go out and just really enjoy myself. And the weather has been phenomenal. It's not muggy and it's not uh, muddy outside, but it is just really nice. And it's not 100 degrees either. Let's be thankful for that. Um, right. So, 
get on out and really enjoy the outside. Who wants to mow their lawn on the weekends? Go take your RV out and do that on Monday or Tuesday. Actually, I need to do that. I'm probably going to do that when we get done here. (laughs) (laughs) One of those things, you got to do it. It is indeed. It is indeed. But yeah, get on out. Get on out to RVing and come on out and see us at Wade's RV. We will have a great time. It's been a great week at Wade's RV so far. If you remember, I brought that torque back from Houston, Texas, and that actually got delivered this week. So that was really, really cool. And it's been a gold rush for the RVs. So um, the small campers, if you've been interested in those, you're going to have to act quickly. I only have a couple left. The factories did reopen this week, so we will be getting more of those coming in in the coming days. But we've also not only do we have new new RVs, but we also have new trade-ins. This week, I also got sent out, I believe it was Tuesday, to go pick up a Bullet. And this thing is really cool. It's a trade-in that we got, and it has four bunks in the back. And what I like about that is with the four bunks in the back is it actually doesn't have a slide out back there. And so with that, if you're packing up and going home, you don't have to move everything. You can leave everything on the bunks. You can leave some of your camping supplies back there. And without it having to go in, it makes it super, super smooth. And so that was really fun to be able to pick that up and get that customer into their new RV. And then I looked out earlier this week and I saw this incredible RV. It had a really cool paint job. And I went over and looked at it and I knew why it was so cool. And that's because it was a Tiffin. I talk about new Mars a lot and new Mars are hand built. Tiffin is hand built as well. And this thing is beautiful from the top to the bottom. One thing that really caught me was the flush slides and they're actually flush mount all the way around. So there's no straight edges on that slide. It's actually curved. So it looks very similar to those really high end buses, like those Newell's and those Prevost that we have. Um, so it's a really incredible bus and it's only 38 feet long. It's a 2016. So if you're looking to save some money, you have got to see this thing. It's incredible and it is not going to last long at all. Camping with Wade's RV. You're listening to KRMG. This is Skylar Cooper with Willie D. And a lot of cool things happening today at Wade's RV and uh, beyond the lot. We'll tell you more about that when we come back from the break. Text your questions for us at 95920. We have a few things we want to ask you about, Willie D., on the other side of this break. It is Camping with Wade's RV, 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk. Camping with Wade's RV every Saturday at noon on 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk. Text your questions to 95920 or give us a call at 918-460-KRMG. Welcome back. This is Camping with Wade's RV. You're listening to 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk. This is Skyler Cooper. Willie D is on the line with me. Willie D, we are still broadcasting remotely, and it's something that we'll... uh, continue to let everyone know as that's happening but it's actually been beneficial uh in that you get to go camping a few times and there's a few things that you can do sort of remotely like today you're at a dog show yes so it's been handy and also inconvenient but yeah i choose to look on the brighter side of life so we're going to go with that it was convenient and the best thing that could have ever happened to us recording remotely um but yes right now i'm out at the dog show being able to really connect with some people in the community it's one of my favorite things to get out there and especially get out there and meet people that have never been in an rv and it really blows them away they come and look at this and they're like whoa This is not my grandpa's RV, and that's exactly right. These RVs are built to take care of you and make sure you have all the comforts of home. Whenever you go out camping and whenever you're in these RVs, I don't know if it's necessarily called camping. It's more so glamping. These things are so nice these days. And so I've been able to go out and I've been able to go camping at a lot of different locations. And that has just been phenomenal. I love camping every opportunity I get. And uh, so, it, you know, it's been great overall, I would say. And we have uh, some questions that we want to get to. Um, and if you have a question, text us at 95920. Uh, Willie D can answer your questions about places to go camping. He's got a lot of that information in his head. And if not, good resources to give you for finding those. Also, you know, informational stuff, if you have something that's not working quite right or how to fix it or whatever, if he doesn't have to answer, his guys do. And Willie D, this one might be a question that we need to ask John, your parts accessories guy. But you mentioned the last segment about the weather, and it's not 100 degrees, but it's going to get there. And when I go camping, I hate being hot, especially at night. But even on, like in the middle of the day when you're standing outside, do you guys have a way? I, you could probably just buy any of these. But is there a special RV version of those fans with misters that you can uh, spray water on yourself with? 
So they do make some that you can like attach to the exterior because obviously you want a water supply. Um, so that way you can hook it up outside to your water connection. Um, and then a lot of times it will hook on the exterior of your RV or maybe on your awning. Um, one thing that you can do is I know whenever I used to work at Home Depot, that was a really cool job. I got to, you know, do a lot of cool outdoor things with that as well. But they did have some very small Mr. Fans that were on like a stand, um, kind of like those ones that just oscillate back and forth. And so if you did want to do that, you could just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get one of the smaller ones, put it on a stand, move it to wherever you wanted. Um, that way you're not limited if you want to have that mist on your picnic table. That way you could have that, you know, you could bring it over there with you instead of just having it attached to the RV or over to the awning. That way you can use it wherever you want. Very similar to a solar panel system. So um, if you want, come on by Wade's RV. John can definitely help you out with getting a fan that missed on you for your RV or um, something else that can help you along the way to make sure you accomplish everything that you need. So the answer is yes and yes. Come on over to Wade's RV and we'll get you hooked up. Now what about at night? Because I cannot sleep without the noise of a fan and the feeling of the moving of the moving air and I, I just get hot. So obviously the AC would work for part of that, but at home I still have both going. I have a big old fan. I could just bring that, I am assuming, but is there, a, is there an RV accessory to that extent too? Well, they actually do have ceiling fans and a lot of RVs. So right up front at what I call the front demo pads of Wade's RV, those three pads, um, I actually have a really incredible holiday Rambler coach. And in the back bedroom of that, it actually has a ceiling fan. I was in a Bighorn as well earlier today, checking out the new floor plans. I like to walk around the lot and see what's new and improved. You can't stay back in that office making videos and driving RVs all day. You got to see what's cool out there. So I was out exploring a little bit this morning, and there was two or three different big horns that I walked into with ceiling fans. And people, you know, that's something they want. And we're always looking to improve with RVs. And so the industry has adapted that and started integrating it into more and more floor plans. That sounds like a good plan, something I need <laughs> for that experience. Yes. So you mentioned earlier, that, uh, so you're, you're out and about right now, but then you're headed to Texas after the show? I am headed to Texas. So whenever I get done with the show, I think the dog show is going to be going on just a little bit longer. Um, but as soon as that wraps up, I'm going to be trucking back to Wade's RV, um, hanging up the keys to this Integra. And then I'm going to be jumping in the front seat of a Class B Galleria. And I'm trucking down to Austin, Texas this evening. So I should be getting down there this evening. Um, it shouldn't be too late. Um, I'm not going to be in my sport chassis, so I'm going to have to stop a few extra times for fuel. Um, but aside from that, I should be making pretty good time, get down there this evening, and then I'm going to deliver that to our customer down in Austin, Texas. And it's really handy since I have gone through these RVs. I actually used to be the rep for Galleria here at the lot, but I can also give that customer a demo. So we've talked about how Wade's RV has no problem delivering RVs. We sell RVs all over the country, and there's a reason. Not all RV dealerships are the same. And so um, even though you might be looking at the same product and it may be closer, who are you going to call when you have problems and you need help? Or let's say you need a replacement part. Guess what? My guys are on it and they're on it quick. So it's very much who you partner with whenever you're finding your RV, not just the RV itself. And so these folks, the Simmons, they decided to partner with Wade's RV. And I'm going to bring that RV right on down to Texas for them to make it really nice and convenient. I'm actually bringing it right to their driveway and going to get it set up for them. So I don't know how it can get easier than that. Um, and it'll be really fun. Sunday morning, about nine o'clock, we're going to get up and get some coffee and then start going over that RV and showing them their new toy. So it'll be pretty cool. And then after that, I'm going to jump in a rental car truck on back get back sunday evening uh and then get ready to rock and roll on monday um here at wade's rv you know we're we're going most days so uh, i'm gonna be ready to get some rest and be ready to fire on all cylinders i'm sure i'll be making a video whenever i go down there so people need to make sure to get on the youtube get on there subscribe and like and follow along with my adventure it should be um pretty neat i always find that i run into a couple surprises along the way um as they say, you know, no good plan goes according to plan. And so you can follow along and see kind of my uh, maybe not so fun parts of the adventure, but you can learn along with me and learn from some of my mistakes and learn um, the cool things as well. I like to make a lot of cool stops if I see something cool along the way. That's kind of the great thing about RVing. It's one of the many great features is it's about the journey, not necessarily about the destination. So if you see something cool, especially in this Class B, you can whip right on over and then check it out and then hit the road again. And it's great. You can get out and stretch your legs, uh, maybe get yourself a cold coca as well. 
Take a break for the bottom of the hour news and check the forecast. This is Skyler Cooper with Willie D. This is Camping with Wade's RV. When we come back from the break, we're going to tell you a little bit about COVID camping, something Willie D did himself and now is experienced and can tell you what it's like and places you can go and some really good tips for that as we return on 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk. With Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's news and talk. Join the show by calling 918-460-KRMG or text us at 959-20. This is Camping with Wade's RV. You're listening to 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's news and talk. Welcome back to the show. Willie D with me. This is Skylar Cooper. If you missed the beginning of the show, we can always get you caught up. Remember, the podcast is available 24-7. You can find that on the KRMG app or krmg.com. We're here every Saturday from noon till 1. Willie D. with Wade's RV reminding you uh, the many different ways you can get a hold of them. First by phone, Willie D., and then they can also just come see you. Yes, you can always come see us. We have two different locations. If you're looking for a new or pre-owned RV, then you're going to want to make sure to come out to our location at 161st and Highway 75. It's just about five minutes south of Tulsa Hills. So keep on trucking down to 161st, and that's where our super center is. We do maintenance and we do storage, but this is where we keep all of our inventory for our sales units. So if you're looking for something, you're going to want to come out here. If you're looking to get your RV repaired, you're probably going to want to go see Amanda. She's at our 121st location. That's where they have the body shop, the paint shop. They have that big lift where they can lift um, these big, amazing coaches into the air. I dare you to go to your local RV dealership and ask them if they have that. Um, Mm -hmm. So we have all of those great tools that we can get you taken care of. So if you need some repairs, give the girls a call at 121st. They're awesome. Jen, Casey, and Amanda, they run that store, and it's really fun every time I get to go up there and visit. And if you're looking for a new or pre-owned RV, or if you just want to learn more about RVs, come on out to Wade's RV at 161st. We will be here until 5 this evening. And then during the week, we're open from 8 8 until 6 p.m. So that way, if you want to get off work and come on out here and check it out during the week, you can because you know what you need to be doing on the weekend? You need to be camping. You don't need to be shopping. You need to be camping. So um, come on out here during the week, pick out your RV, and then we'll get you camping by the weekend. And uh, check out Wade's RV on Facebook at Wade's RV and YouTube, too. Willie D., you put up a lot of cool videos there. Not just, um, you know, it's been a while since we've been able to really have the real deal but you usually put you and i up in the studio we just haven't been there in a couple of months we've been broadcasting remotely as we still are today but i also love the way you guys do walkthroughs and how to's so it's not just here's what we're selling but it's here's how i can help you by you know showing you how to do something or when you go out here's how you would do this it's really informational Yes. So there's lots of informational videos on there as well. So if you're wanting to learn, um, one time I did how to fix a water um, filter housing. Um, And that was one of those, like I said, adventures, you might say, where I got out there, plugged in the water to my unit, and then it was cracked. So um, I went ahead, filmed that and put that on there. I have lots of different videos on how to set up your RV. Also walkthroughs of RVs, if you're interested. And the Oklahoma made RV, that's one of the most popular ones on there. That's the idle time. You can watch a video on that. You can watch a video on the Integra Accolade. That's one of the newest, newer ones. And then the newest video of them all is the famous Kenny Rogers tour bus. Yes, you heard it right, folks. Kenny Rogers, the country music legend. We do have his tour bus here at Wade's RV. So if you want to come see it, come on out. We'll give you a tour of that. But I also did a walkthrough, so if you're wanting to learn just a little bit about the bus and how the band members traveled around, you can get on there as well and see that and kind of learn about what makes that bus different than everything else out there. It's incredible, and there's just lots of different camping information. Um, So anything camping is on there. So check it out. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, it's all you need to know camping. So Monday is not – it's several new beginnings. It is June 1st. It is Monday, so it's kind of a new week for the new work week. And it's also phase three of reopening in Oklahoma from the COVID-19 situation. So a lot of things are changing on Monday. Much like it felt at the end of April when we introduced May, we said good riddance. And I'm going to do the same thing to May, good riddance to May, because these have been the weirdest two months of pretty much, it's my life, probably your life too, Willie D. I think pretty much anyone would agree the last two months have been crazy. So we'll say goodbye to them, but we welcome June and things are going to be changing and getting better But in those last two months, you learned a lot, and we've been sharing that information about COVID camping or really just what it's like to go camping in a pandemic and having to keep social distancing. Remind us of some of the things you learned, the places you went, and the advantage to the fact that you can go camping in that situation. Yes, so there was a lot of things that changed, but one thing that didn't change was camping. 
you are still able to go out and social distance because you're away from people. So that's one thing I learned is, you know, sometimes the older things are the best things. Back before people were traveling all over to New York and, you know, down to all these big cities and taking these yachts, they were in RVs and traveling the country and seeing their country and, you know, experiencing it in a different way than what was thought of before. But camping is one of those things that is timeless and will be around forever. And so with COVID being around, we were still able to go camping. I was able to go out to Hogan's Off-Road Park, which is one of my favorite spots. It's kind of a uh, small town um, RV park, but Hogan's always out there willing to help, and he's always got a few stories. So you're always going to learn something whenever you go to Hogan's. If you want to see an interview and learn how that park was made, there's a YouTube video on it. So go on to the Wade's RV and check that out. I was also able to go to Robber's Cave. That was a really cool place. That's where a lot of the outlaws, Jesse James, Bell Star, that's where they would ha hide out whenever they're running away from the law. So I was able to go out there. And then Sequoia, that is a close to home spot. It's just great. It's always clean. They have great facilities, concrete pads. They have nice grills out there. So it's really close to home. It's a great spot, great roads to get out to. And that's one of my all time favorites as well. I was able to go out there. And uh, during the COVID, it was, you know, there's been some improvements. I've been going to different stores um, and things and seeing that they've been doing remodeling. One of my favorite um, brunch spots is Brookside by day and they remodeled inside. And so that was really cool. But a lot of the state parks have been doing that as well. So out at Sequoia, they have a whole new lobby with lots of improvements. They actually put an RV inside. Um, so it's really neat. You're going to have to check that out. If you saw it before, you got to check it out now because it is just totally different and it'll blow you away. But I knew that camping was a good and safe way to get away. Many people didn't. And so it's kind of, you know, we've had that RV gold rush now because people thought, you know, hey, I'm going to have to change my vacation now that I can get outdoors and stuff. Well, you could have been using your RV during this COVID stuff and still been being away. So think about that. And so people, they didn't under, you know, they weren't told, they didn't even think about this, but now they're discovering that RVing is affordable. It's not just something that your grandpa goes out and do, does, you know, I'm 25 years old and I've been camping for years. I love doing camping. And so um, people have found out that camping is the vacation of the future because there's not going to be big crowds and it's almost impossible to overbook. If you, I've never been to New York city, but I've always seen these um, pictures and videos of times square and it seems everyone is shoulder to shoulder. Well, you can just walk out from your house or show up and there's no, you know, limit to how many people can be there in Times Square. But at a state park with there being limiting booking for um, campsites and tent sites, there's going to be a limited number of people. So it's almost impossible to be around a crowd. And so it is awesome. And then another great thing that I find out when I'm traveling, because a lot of times, you know, I have someone's new RV. I'm not going to sleep in it whenever I'm traveling down there to the road. So I'm staying in hotels. And, uh, oh, my goodness, I've talked about this before. I do not like hotels. Hotels, for one, they seem to be crazy a lot of times. It seems like every time I go to a hotel, there's always some sort of weird experience. And so I'm just going to classify it as crazy. But um, you're not going to be staying in a hotel that maybe wasn't cleaned properly. We're talking about hygiene and stuff. That is a big deal. You want to make sure it's clean properly. Whenever you have an RV, that is yours. You can make sure it's sterilized, it's clean, and it's your bed. You're not going to be in a bed that someone slept in a million times. The sheets have been reused. Who knows if they've been cleaned? You are in control. And so RVing is clean. It's safe. It's your stuff. And you control your experience. And you control your experience down to the view. Whenever I book a hotel, I usually look for, you know, two queen beds, one king bed. It depends on, you know, who I'm traveling with. With an RV, you can choose the exact view that you have at the lake. So it is incredible. You are just that much in control. And I'm not going to say I'm a control freak, but I definitely like, you know, setting the time I wake up, um, setting the time I go to bed, choosing what I like to eat. And so you can be in control of what you're doing in your destination. So it has just been incredible um, that people have, you know, been able to learn about this. Um, I was able to use it to my advantage since I knew about it, but people have learned and they're getting out and using their RVs and coming out. And we're seeing that by just how many people are getting out and enjoying this lifestyle to make memories with their family. Here at Wade's RV, we have a saying, start turning miles into memories. And that's what it's all about. Probably need to uh, get into this after the break, but I want to tell you on um, Thursday, I got a chance to talk with Oklahoma Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell. And one of the things we talked about, because he is the uh, basically the director of tourism for Oklahoma too, as well as Lieutenant Governor. So I asked him how we're going to get that going again. How are you going to get Oklahoma back to the tourism? Because it's actually one of our top three uh, sectors in Oklahoma, believe it or not. And uh, at least it was in the last few months. It's probably dropped off, but 
it's something that he wants to get back going again. And so we'll get into that when we get back from the break. Also, some of the steals and deals down at Wade's RV. This is Camping with Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG. Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's news and talk. Get your questions in now. This Call is Camping with Wade's RV on 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's news and talk. My name is Skyler Cooper. Willie D joins me from afar. And today, uh, there's a lot of things going on. So you guys are actually out at a dog show doing something kind of fun down that way. You're always out in the community doing things. And even though that looks a little bit different right now with uh, COVID, it's still happening. People being safe and having fun with that there. We always welcome your questions here on the show. You'll find us every Saturday from noon to one right here on KRMG. The Ask the Experts weekend rolls on and uh, text us at 95920. Uh, Before the break, Willie D, I want to tell you something really cool. On Thursday last week, I uh, filled in and hosted the Evening News, and I talked to Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell about tourism in Oklahoma because that is the other part of his job uh, when it's not uh, Lieutenant Governor's side. It's the tourism guy, basically. You know, the whole rebranding effort was a big part of what he did a couple of months ago. And then that stuff all just came to a screeching halt with COVID. So I asked him how they're going to get tourism going again. First of all, it's about getting Oklahomans to go around Oklahoma. I know, Willie D, that's a big thing you do. Oh, I am a huge Okie. I'm a huge believer in Oklahoma. Um, The only time you'll find me in Texas, it won't be because I'm living there. It will be because I'm dropping off an RV or I'm picking one up and I might be seeing some relatives. But I am an Oklahoma fan through and through. Um, I was born here. I was raised here. I was actually born in Tulsa, raised in Tulsa, Uh, went to high school here. And uh, so I'm not going anywhere. I love this place. The other thing that he said is bringing Americans, getting the rest of the country to Oklahoma. So I'll play this for you. This is Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell uh, just a couple of days ago on getting tourism back and getting people to Oklahoma. We're telling the rest of the country as well that Oklahoma is the best place to social distance. Route 66, the Chisholm Trail, our Native American history, you can really see everything in Oklahoma. If you want to see America, you got to see Oklahoma. That's really our pitch to the rest of the country. Uh, Folks aren't going to be traveling to New York City or L.A. anytime soon. Uh, They can come right here to the middle of the country and have just as good of an experience from a tourism perspective. Willie D., I mean, that says it kind of like better than I've ever heard it, making people, if you want to see the country, see Oklahoma. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to have to use that line myself. That's probably the coolest thing I've heard all week long. And I couldn't agree more. The more I travel around and the more I see Oklahoma, the more I'm amazed by how many different landscapes they are or there are here in Oklahoma. You know, if you go to the western part of the state, it's going to look totally different than us here in green country. And if you go down to the southern part of the state, it's going to look totally different than up if you were up at Grand Lake. So it's just so cool that we have so many different land types. You know, we're almost in the just center of the United United States. And so we have a little bit of it all. And then what I like more so than just the land is the people. We have great people in Oklahoma and it's different than anywhere else that you'll find. And so once people come here and they experience it, they don't want to leave many times. Many times, a lot of my friends, I've traveled around um, back when I used to cowboy in Tennessee. I went to Bible college in Florida. And so a lot of my friends, I would just talk about Oklahoma and they had to come see it. And so once they saw it, they go, Okay, well, we see why this crazy Okie is so crazy about a state. Um, It's because it's really cool and it's incredible. And the people here are just second to none. So if we get people starting to come here, you know, we might see that population start to grow a little bit, which would be really cool just to add to that Oklahoma family, much like what we do with the Wade's RV family. And to speak to that a little bit, did you see that? I mean, there have been a, a couple of these, but one of those promotional videos that they made to try to get Tesla to come to Tulsa, really, every time they make a promo video of Tulsa, you remember, oh, my gosh, that's why I love this so much here, because you kind of have everything. And then it's a couple of hours from anything else. You know, if you're a city person, you live in downtown Tulsa, you love that lifestyle. And seriously, in an hour or two or less, depending on what exactly you're looking for, you're in the middle of nowhere. And that's kind of like the best of all worlds. It's the best of both worlds. I don't think there's any better place to raise a family. So um, if you're thinking about it, we have a lot of listeners that are listening all over the country. Come on out and see us. You know, we'd love to we'd love to show you around and show you what it's about uh, and show you why you should come here and camp. A lot of times this is a very popular destination because we have so many different recreational things you can do. I like riding horses. So if you want to ride horses, you can go to different campsites that have horse trails and things of that nature. So um, Wade's RV is definitely here for tourism and we're definitely here to help you. If Tesla comes to town, you guys have to go convince him to build an RV, right? Uh, I think it would be a pretty cool concept. And, you know, here at Wade's RV, we have the biggest and the baddest. So I think it would be a great partnership, Wade's (laughs) RV and Tesla. So uh, we'll have to set something up like that. 
couple of minutes left on Camping with Wade's RV on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Willie D., you've got some uh, updates, some steals and deals, some new stuff down at the lot. I have some crazy steals and deals. So for one, the first RV that I want to talk about is a RV that started at a hundred thousand dollars. Let that process a hundred thousand dollars. And so they have this marked down to seventy three thousand dollars, folks. That's a little bit of a price change. So this is an incredible deal. And what makes it even better, not just the price, but it's the floor plan. You want a floor plan that works for you. This thing has a brand new front kitchen. And so typically with front kitchens, they put that refrigerator right up there in the nose. And it blocks your view from looking out and just seeing that amazing campsite when you're elevated in your fifth wheel. And they did not do that at all. They actually moved it over to the side so you can have a great panoramic view out in front of you. And that's a big horn. So with a big horn, that means it's warranted for full-time living. So if you're thinking about hitting the road full-time or if you want an RV to live in full-time, this would be a great unit for you. Also, I found out that Vibe delivered a brand new floor plan. I was talking earlier about how Vibe had my quote-unquote favorite floor plan, the 28RB. That's not the case anymore. They came out with a new one, and now that's my favorite. So if you're looking for unique floor plans, Vibe is a great brand for you to see. But the new floor plan is the 31ML, and that stands for middle living. And so before, they used to have rear kitchens, and they were just really sectioned off, and they really didn't change very much. You typically just had one super slide in there. With this, you have a rear kitchen design with a middle living room, and then you have a great master bedroom. And what makes it so different is you have three slides, and this thing is only 36 foot long. So you get all the space, but without the length. And whenever you're going on long journeys, um, sometimes whenever you're pulling a travel trailer, whenever they get up to those 40 foot lengths, you start to notice those extra feet. And so with this being only 36 foot long, this is going to travel down the road just amazing. You're going to have everything you need. Um, it's got an electric fireplace. The styling is incredible. I mean, it looks like a model home in there. So if you're looking for a travel trailer, that's a great one. Or check out my, you know, my old favorite, as I got to say now. But the Vibe 28 RB, it's got a rear bathroom, which has a huge shower in it. It also has washer dryer hookups in there. And so before, typically, like I was talking about that 40 foot unit, you're, you would have to have a three slide 40 foot unit to have even a washer and dryer and that's not the case at all so you can take advantage of that and then breaking news everyone knows i love sport chassis i'm gonna have two brand new sport chassis rolling here on the lot i believe they are both onyx packages and those are going to be showing up next week one is going to be a bright cobra red and then the other one is going to be a nice blue color um, they have two different shades they didn't give me an exact shade so you'll have to come check it out or check out our website but i have two brand new sport chassis rolling up on the lot and if you don't know what that is you have got to go on the website and see i have a great walkthrough video of it it's basically a souped up one ton that will change your life and if you haven't driven one then you wouldn't know the difference so come on out and test drive one that's a great advantage of Wade's RV as we can get out here and we can teach you how to drive a motorhome, a truck, a trailer, whatever you want. That's what we're here for as Oklahoma's only full service dealer. Get a hold of Wade's RV, 918-291-1011, wadesrv.com. Willie D, have a safe road trip. We'll talk to you next Saturday. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to find us online. Uh, check out those videos and definitely come out and see us and tell them you listen to Camping with Wade's RV. On 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk.